mentioned this at the top of the hour, but uh, the pollen mountain cedar pollen is at a high count. Elm is at a moderate and fungus at, is at a low count. I'm going to focus though on the mountain cedar pollen. That's what generally causes issues with many Texans this time of the year. So mountain cedar is actually coming from mountain cedar trees or juniper trees. They mainly grow in the hill country, but they also grow in parts of West Texas, closer towards the interstate uh, 20 there towards the southwest of DFW and to the west. With that being said, I have seen a few trees in the city as well, but most of them will be south along the I-35 corridor and towards the hill country. So with pollen production, it actually starts around Thanksgiving and into the holiday season, but it peaks in early February and then it tapers off in late February into March. We just happen to be in early February, which is generally when pollen production is at its highest. But it's not just that that's bringing in the high pollen count factors. Whenever we have strong southerly winds or just dry air that's pushing in from the west, we tend to see pollen levels climb. And this is what triggers what a lot of people call cedar fever. It's whenever it feels like a cold. Maybe sometimes it even feels like the flu because it brings on flu like symptoms, but really cedar fever is consistent with itchy, watery eyes, runny nose and itchy skin. So current winds right now are out of the south. So where that green bubble is, where the trees grow, you see that wind transporting the pollen into DFW. So when is it going to change? Not anytime soon, unfortunately. With the winds picking up a tad today, that's going to help keep pollen levels high Thursday, Friday, and even through the weekend, even as we see a northerly wind shift. But come Monday, when rain chances return and really help soak some of this pollen down, that's when we can see levels drop at least for a few days, Mark. I